Hey, yo, Flyers! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you, baby. I'm the Flying Fabio, and welcome back to the channel. Slightly behind today. Slightly behind today. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Crisis averted, says Ninja. <laughs> hey, Mr. Flight Simulator, how you doing, man? How you doing, buddy? How are all of you guys doing? How are all of you guys doing? Should we get some vibes? Should we get some vibes? Of course we should. Of course we should. Please, what's going on, buddy? What is going on? Just wanted to say thank you so much for the raid. Haha, <laughs> Hewitt. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Hewitt? Hey, it was a pleasure, man. Made your ear. Come on, man. Hey, it was a pleasure, man. I hope you got some follows out of that. Hopefully, you're gonna grow your channel a little bit. Um, yeah, nice to meet you, Hewitt. And thanks for being here, man. I appreciate that. Roger that, Scooter. Roger that. Are we talking Discord? Are we talking Discord? Patty140 just resubscribed for seven months. Loving the content. Ooh. You know what? Uh, Speednut. That's a great question. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is, buddy. Wow, Speednut. That's super, super awesome. Hold on a second. Let me see. I'm going to try and talk to... Hold on, Speed Nut. Let me ask FS Expo and we'll figure this out, okay? Thanks, dude. That's really awesome. Really awesome. All right, Speed. We'll figure this out before the end of the stream, all right? For sure. For sure. Thanks for my coffee, baby. Whoa, Ewald, let's go, buddy. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, guys, don't forget. Don't forget. Flight Sim Expo. I just posted last night on our Discord a little reminder for people. Um, but uh, Flight Sim Expo starts this Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be there. Abby will be there. Joey Bolo is going to be there. Citizen is going to be there. A lot of people are going to be there. A lot of people are going to be there. So, we'd love to have you there. And if not... Then you can attend online for 15 bucks, actually even less. If you use my FOF code, you get 10% off. Uh, so it's even less than that. Hey, Santi, how's it going, man? Branding Iron, hello. Tarbridge Knight. Hey, buddy. Are you flying right now? I think you're flying an Airbus months. right now, aren't Thanks you? Thanks for the five months of entertainment. Panda, thank you so much for that, dude. Patty, by the way, loving the content. Thank you very much, Patty. Thank you very much, Panda. Vasi, thanks for the follow. DC Viper. That's a year, buddy. That is a year. That is a year of support. Wow. Wow, DC. Thank you so much, dude. And get that level. And that 100 bits, too. Thank you very much for the 300 bits from Oro. Appreciate that. Turbo Boba. I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. By the way, Ninja, I'm using Chatterino now. I think it was you that recommended it. So thank you very much for that. It's very Bennett nice. Hi, nice, Savannah. How's it going? Bennett, thank you very much for that, dude. I appreciate that. Oh. 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 Dalmatian. What's that going on? What's that going on? How do you do this, Elmish? I know it's Photoshop, but dude. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. All right, sounds good, Guybrush. Sounds good, buddy. Did you finish the video? Yeah, Chatterino is awesome. I agree. I agree. Rodopsin, too. Rodopsin, giving out a subscription to Hewitt. Let's go, Hewitt. Enjoy the sub, dude. Rodopsin, thank you very much, man. That's super nice of you. It is, right, Crumb? Well, oh, and he's got the birds in there, too. Guys, do you know that I still have not seen birds in the sim? Haven't seen birds in the sim. All right, we're definitely going to love this one. 
Did you see the Leonardo release a takeoff video? I saw, Captain. I saw. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be nice having the, uh, the mad dog here, isn't it? Oh. New Zealand. Huh. That's pretty. Just released an hour ago. All right, Guybrush. That's awesome, buddy. Hey, you know what? We may have time in the flight today to watch it. Dalmatian, man, you and your shots, dude. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Holy moly. It's at Astros. Hey, nice to see you, man. How's it going? How's it going? Look at the garage. The garage. Here? Oh my god, I didn't even see it! <laughs> I didn't even see it, dude. That's awesome. I like how subtle that is. I love how subtle that is, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. Nicely done. Yes, yes. You're right about that, Scooter. You are right about that. Easter egg. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna download this one. We're gonna download the original. Wow. Wow. Okay, there it is. Tis saved. What do you mean it's at Astros? Four aircraft. Like you've flown different four different aircraft? <laughs> wow man, this is awesome. Alright guys, so let's get going here. What are we doing today? Well, we're continuing airline week where we follow one tail number. This tail number right here. November 658. Charlie Alpha and uh, we're following last week's schedule but last week on Wednesday it uh, started the day in Albuquerque went to Phoenix after Phoenix it went to Reno after Reno back to Phoenix after Phoenix to Hermosillo all right Hermosillo to Phoenix okay okay we'll see how many of these flights we can fit in today so starting with Albuquerque to Phoenix that's where we are right now Right now, Hells Diep, dude, let's go, buddy. Thank you so much, Hells Diep. I'll cheer you, buddy. So for the stream countdown, is there a way to do a slideshow or flight paper? Oh, that. MR, is amazing. Simulator just resubscribed for two months. Healthy Some quick filters, really, Santi. Really, Santi. I underscore on Lisa underscore. I just resubscribed for two months. Healthy gifted a tier one. Hey, Mr. Pilot, how's it going today, buddy? It's controlling Memphis Tower. Oh, I'm controlling Memphis Tower. Oh, it's at Astros. I got you, buddy. I got you. Ah, nice. You know what? It's at Astros. I don't think I knew. I don't think I knew that you controlled Kilo Zebra. Thank you very much. Five months. Let's go, buddy. Kilo Zebra just resubscribed hey, good for five How are you, months. Man? The Fly 45. Let's go. The Fly 45 El Capitan. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Hi, sugar. Oh, yeah, I've been here in Memphis controlling since December. Oh, that's awesome uh, at Astros. By the way, guys, by the way, uh, I did see that he was online. Look. Oh, I guess not. I guess you're not online right now, right? I thought you were. Okay. All right. So our flight's very simple today, uh, as far as flight planning goes, right? It's basically two straight lines here. I'm online right now, if you're talking to me. Yeah, it's at Astros, but I didn't see, look. I only see, oh, did you say tower? Memphis Tower. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, in real life or sim? Oh, it's at Astros. 
Wait, are you saying he controls? Oh, okay, Mr. Pilot was asking. Jesus, man. That lack... <laughs> Mr. Pilot, that lack of a question mark. I'm like, oh, he controls both in real life or in the sim. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm a real estate agent in real life. Okay, got it. It's a disaster. Got it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Hey, new tank. How's it going, man? <laughs> yeah, fake. Exactly. All right, guys. So we do have a departure and an arrival. Uh, you can tell that they're pretty much the entire route, right? There's a VOR, Z-U-N, here in the middle. Zuni VOR. But literally, look at this. It highlights it, right? So, look at this. The departure takes us to Zuni. And the arrival picks it up in Zuni. So, pretty interesting. Yes, I am, new tank. Thank you very much, man. Magic control both at the same time. Hi, <laughs> bunnies. Good afternoon, man. How are you? Yes, doing great. Thank you. I'm an agent too. Oh, no way. And I'm about to pull my hair out because these part-time agents making my life living hell. Oh, part-time agents, huh? So you guys know Abby's going down that shoot too. All right, Kyber and Astros. I'm going to tell Abby she can ask you guys questions. <laughs> I know, right, Jefferson? Interesting, right? Very interesting. Let's have a look at what they are. Let's have a look at what they are. Oh, and by the way, uh, if we... Yep, yeah, sure. I'll log in. If we choose the CRJ, uh, it's a 48-minute flight. Right. Quick one. Quick one. Okay. Yeah, I remember you saying that, DC. Remember you saying that. It was Remax, too. Oh, Adastro says an arrival. <laughs> Quite common here to have connecting SID stars. Uh, you mean here in the West? Sion. Managed to get home in time for stream today. You buddies! Let's go, buddy. Well, nice. Yeah, the first one, right? Hey, Peter. How are you, buddy? All right. So, weather-wise, uh, I'll zoom out so you can see that I do have weather on. Uh, and if I animate it, you can see that, yeah, the eastern half of the U.S. is getting pounded by storms today. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hmm. Let's try and reload the site. That's more like it. All right. So we got stuff here. Nothing here. Guys, look at the west, right? Except for the Pacific Northwest, as always. <laughs> look at this. It's a nice day. It's a nice day. Look at the high. Look at this. It's a collection of highs. Yeah, there's a low there and a low there. But I mean, even the lows. Look at the pressure. That's not a low. It's low compared to the high, right? Wow. Remarkable. Remarkable to have this much good weather, right? No Sid Stark's home is available. He'll fly from block off to block on. Takes about 30 minutes. Nice. Yeah, Mr. Pilot, this is a very strong front, I think, that moved through. And it's creating that weather on the eastern side, right? <clears throat> yeah, so does so does Abby at Astros. I don't know what's involved in getting there, to be honest. <clears throat> That's right, Captain Gaming. High pressure can mean an inversion layer, which means bad visibility, right? Ferrelli, what's going on, man? Yes, it's knocking. It's knocking, isn't it? It's knocking. By the way, we are on that sim as well as all players. Uh, so, weather is great, right? Weather at the departure airport. Let's go check it out. Oh, 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 there. Winds from the north, 360 at 8. 10 visibility, clear skies, temperature 12. It's kind of chilly. 2.02. It is early, right? Look at the altimeter, guys. 3048. That is a high pressure. 
3048. It's a high pressure pushing all that weather out of here. Saying, get out of here, weather. Get out of here. 3048. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful sunrise. Oh, hold on. I can do this. There we go. 3048. Man, that might be the highest pressure I've ever flown, actually. Have you guys flown higher than 3048? Okay, three times. Only in my sinuses. <laughs> Yeah, Kelly, right? Oh, Captain Game, your flight school is here in Albuquerque. 44 in Nantucket the other day, wow. I had no idea New Bern and Jacksonville had airports. You mean Jacksonville, Florida? Yeah, Jesus, right? 3048, man. Ah, North Carolina, okay. Got it, DC. Got it. Oh, near Camp Lejeune. Okay. 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 Branding iron. I know how that goes, man. So high that he couldn't select. It was like 1050. Holy crap. All right. So. We've got the weather, right? Um, let's get the plane ready. So I'm going to do my flow here. Okay, got to turn the nav light on because we electrify the aircraft. Fuel pumps will come on when the aircraft is on. These are all fine. I got 3A in on. Let's do recirculation fan. Let's turn on the packs. Let's get the windows to low. Arm the emergency lights. Let's go on with no smoking and seatbelt. EOT is armed. Very good. Down here, we're going to go Flight Director. Let's look at the departure already since we're here and put in our altitude for the departure, yeah? Yeah. 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 Here's our departure. So it's an Arnav Sid for Albuquerque, and we're going to Zuni. Okay. RNF Sid for Albuquerque, New Mexico, chart 10-3 Lima, issued 7 April 17th. Hasn't been updated since. Albuquerque International Sunport. Whoa. Whoa, we're flying out of Sunport today, baby. It's at Astros. How hard is it to to become or to, to have a brokerage, right? To go from being a real estate agent to having a brokerage. Interesting, at Astros. Okay. Ah, rally for flight school. Okay. So let's read up here, guys. Transition out to 18,000. That's like that everywhere in the United States. Not news to us. Radar required. That's for ATC. DME, DME, IRU, or GPS required. Okay, we have both, right? We have an IRU, IRS. We have DME, DME also, and we have GPS. RNAV-1 required. We can do RNAV-1. RNAV-1 is area navigation with a precision of one nautical mile. We can do way better than a precision of one nautical mile, so we can satisfy our nav one. For turbojet aircraft only. Okay, we're good. If unable to accept climb gradient, oh, there's a climb gradient. Advise ATC on initial contact. Okay, for non GPS equipped aircraft, Albuquerque and ONM. ONM, I don't see ONM in here. DMEs must be operational. Interesting that they don't show ONM in the charts. The class national and state test is pretty tough. Then you have some insurances you have to pay. You have to have a physical location, right? And there are some other stuff. It's also state dependent. It's not hard, but it's not cheap easy. Got it. Got it. Thanks, man. Oh, in DFW. <laughs> Jesus. Did you have the option to go flying today, Jesus? 
Guys, we also need to figure out the runway here, right? Because, look, it looks like I can take the east-west runway, but the wind's from the north. I'd rather take runway what looks like to be runway three. But Eddie looks like it's big enough, but we need to be sure, right? So, let's uh, familiarize ourselves with the airports. Oh, yeah. 10,000 feet? No worries. We got this, right? We got this. We're over here at the terminal. There we go. And we just have to get ourselves down here. Okay. Nice. Uh, since we're here, let's brief this, right? Albuquerque International Sun Port for Albuquerque, New Mexico. Chart 10-9. Issued 11 June 21. Oh, it's brand new. Effective 17 June. Okay, for Albuquerque. All right. So let's see here. Runway 8 and runway 12. Approach ends are decoupled. See, because there's runway 8 here and 12 here, right? Come on, hold short line is shared. Okay, so you probably have a hold short before 8. Or, ah, no, it's here. It's the hold line for this runway. and for, Oh, no. Because it looks like there's a cut on the taxi. You see that white line there? Hmm. Okay, interesting. Runway 12 for takeoff is only available via taxiway Echo. CPT Harlock yep. 1 just resubscribed for five months. Hi, Captain Bobby. Harlock, what's Thanks going on, dude? Let's go. Learning. Thank you very much. By the way, I missed some bits here. Desineri with a thousand bits. Thank you very much, Desineri. G Funk with 200 bits. And Mako with 100 bits. Brazil! Bom dia, Brazil. Captain Harlock, thank you very much for that. Shiro Konoi! Shiro Konoi, you just made me 16 followers from 7,000 followers. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, okay, full length available via back taxi. Ah, interesting. Because look, this is Taxiway Echo, right? They're saying, look, you can only get to Runway 12 via Echo. Okay? If you want the full length, uh, you got a back taxi. You can't cross here. This taxiway looks to be cut. Okay. Runway 30 landings. Last available exit is taxiway Echo. Exit via Echo 1 is not possible. Oh, interesting. At the end, yeah. So it looks like the end is not really a taxiway. Basically, that's what they're trying to tell you. Okay, we have the military here. Right? Fire station. Air National Guard. You know, it's a bit morbid, but one of the things I look at is if I cannot take off and I overrun this runway, what am I going to crash into, right? So I tend to look at the extended center line just to see what's ahead. And this one is a good one, right? Because there could be some aircraft parked here, but other than that, if I stray on a straight line, there's not a lot of buildings. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. And the fire base apron and the fire station are here. So if I end up here, I'm not too far from them. That's nice. Okay. Ramp north of runway 826. Close to helicopters in general aviation. Okay. That's not us. So we're fine. There is definitely a hot spot here. And by the way, I'm looking at this because we're going to taxi out this way, right? We're going to taxi out this way. Uh, Sorry, to golf. And then to Fox. Right? So it's going to be Alpha to Echo 1 to Golf. Yep. To Fox. Okay. Okay. Runaway hold line. All right. And there's hotspot one there. Hold position marking for te on Taxiway Echo 1 is the hold short position for Runaway 8. Got it. The only access for when we went to departure is at intersection or AEC. Okay. And that's about it for the airport. That's about it for the airport. Okay. So I got that. So we're going to depart runway 3. To match that wind. Coming from Zinor. And that means... Our departure then is going to be this. Runway 3. Climb heading 034. Set that up. I'm going to be on FMS more than likely, but sometimes you have a, uh, a heading departure where you actually have to fly a couple to heading. So let's put it in. 034. Okay. To 6,000. Then left turn, direct. Uh, Radarner. How do you pronounce this, guys? Roadorner. Radarner. 
Ray Darner. Roadrunner. Really? I would never get Roadrunner out of this. Thanks, guys. Roadrunner. Damn, I would never get it. Cross Roadrunner at or above 10,000. Okay, so we got a, a steep climb here, boys. Because look, taking off on 3, you have way less time to get to 10 than taking off on 08. So I expect the climb gradient for 08 is going to be a lot better than the climb gradient for 03. Radner. Yeah, it could be Radner. No, Radner. No, because there's an R between the, the D and the N. It's Albuquerque. Context. Yeah, good fixings. I suppose you're right. It is the desert. And Speedy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, let's see here. Cross uh, Roadrunner. Wow, I would never get that. At or above 10,000. Okay. Climb gradients. Uh, the SID requires takeoff minimums. Okay. Uh, for standard minimums, refer to airport chart. Okay. Runway 3 is standard minimums or lower than standard if authorized with minimum climb of 500 per nautical mile. Oh, look at this. Runway 8 is also 500. And 500 per nautical mile at our speed of 250 is going to be 2,000 feet per minute. We can do this. It's steep, but we can do this. You know what I'm finding weird? Oh, man. The lack of standardization, guys. The lack of standardization gets me. Meep, meep. That's right, deadhead. Oh, interesting, DC. Guys, what am I missing here that I always see? What am I missing that I always see? Nice, said Astro. That'd be great. No idea, says Kelly. Hey, Ruben, what's going on? They don't. Not in this departure. Maybe in a different departure? VNAV chart? No. A percentage. A percentage for the climb gradient. Because normally, normally when you look at climb gradients, can you make it or not? You're not looking at feet per minute here. Right? You're looking at a percentage. 5%, 7%, something like that. You can calculate what the percentage is with these numbers, but still. It's interesting that they're not required to put it in, right? Okay, so check this out. Uh, runway 3 has a tank about 5,000 feet from the departure end of the runway, so it's about a mile from the departure end of the runway. Uh, 1,700 feet left of center line, 150 feet AGL. It's a water tower, also at 5,000, 1,700 left of center line, 156, so it's very close to that tank. Okay. Okay. Hey, Garlo, what's going on, man? Mick Jagger? I would call it... I suppose with the K, it'd be Mick Jagger, not Michael Jackson. I think a lot of people probably call it Michael Jackson. <laughs> Looks Yonica. All right, Gorlo, sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. Okay, guys, so it's a departure. 034 to 6,000. At 6,000, we're going to make the turn. And we got to get to Roadrunner at at least 10,000. Speedy at at least 12,000. And then we don't have any more climb or speed restrictions or requirements until we get to Zuni. Okay, top out to do this for level 200. If we had ATC, that's what we do, right? Routing from Roadrunner on transition. Maintain flight level 200. Expect flight altitude one zero minutes after departure. But today, with no ATC, we're just going to go straight to that uh, straight to the le flight level, right? And it's going to be flight level 340 today. So let's put in 340. So we got Hammer our heading. Just Altitude is going to be 340. Oh, Hammer! Joey, what's going on, buddy? Two-Tone is here, too. Nice. Hello, everybody. Hammer, thank you very much for that sub, dude. Let's go. Let's go! All right, so uh, 34. Oh, I still got too much for each click. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Oh, my God, Howie. All right. Fair is fair. Fair is fair, sir.
<laughs> Sorry, Howie. <laughs> Sorry, Howie. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you, Howie. Good to see you, buddy. All right, we're American 3024 from Albuquerque to Phoenix, alternating. What is this? Prescott, where Amber Riddle has another campus. Okay, then we have the Eagle 6 uh, on arrival. All right. Looks a good. Oh my god, Welsh. What? Welsh. Should I just eat 10 beans? Should I just eat 10 beans? Uh, chaps, yeah. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try something because I can't just not say it. Oh my god. There it is. Let's start that timer. Start that timer. Yo. <laughs> the problem is I don't remember these things. That's the problem. All right, I'm gonna say before I start the timer, it only it only works when the timer's going. So I'm gonna say, guys, 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 seriously, guys. And now here we go. I can't say it anymore. Okay, let's see how long this lasts. Look, see what he can. <laughs> uh, a couple of different ways, yeah, I'm not even gonna go down that route. All right. People. So here's our flight, right? Alternated to Prescott, and I'm already terrified of talking. Terrified of talking. 7,901 pounds of fuel. 7,901 pounds. Outcast. Lanephog just resubscribed for two months. Outcast. Thank you, Outcast. Hombre, says Joey. Hog. I like to go by zero fuel. Seven thousand nine hundred and one. Let's put that in there. Mimic three hundred thirty-three just resubscribed for three months. Outcast. Wow, survival Outcast. Gifted a tier Amazing. One sub to limit Amazing support. Thank you. And in here, we have a zero fuel of. Oh, not that bad. 60.3, kind of light. Fixer 21 there just we go. resubscribed for two months. Outcast Survival gifted a tier <laughs> one sub to Fixer 21. 12 people. Right, Luxionica? That's the one I remember. Bago 62 just resubscribed oh for three my God. months. Oh my God. load in the sim. So yeah, look, our takeoff weight is 68. We're very light. It's a short flight, but we're very light. Copy performance data to the FMS. And send the V-speeds. Nice. 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 Okay. We have 7,900. Got it. Uh, there's the cargo. We have passengers. And our zero fuel weight is 60.3. Nice. Nice. Lawn Hog. Ah. Danke. Danke für das Geschen Kabel. Geschen Kabel? Geschen Kabel? What's up, Gas? How's it going? This looks good. Let's see. Next here, we have wind. Oh, okay. Almost. Look at this. Almost no wind. One knot is the average wind for cruise. Some wind on the climb. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 56 minutes is what this says. Sky Vector was thinking 48. Uh, and 3,945 pounds of fuel. It's a little more... Then what Simbrief thought, look, Simbrief thinks 3,300 plus taxi, right? So 538. So 3,800 
And in here, we're expecting 39.45. But I mean, very close. Very close. Response arc! How's it going? Response arc! Um, did that uh, scenery get turned on for you just yet? Ah, Luxionica, nice. Hey, Joe Wirtz, what's going on? So, VNAP setup and we're done. That's correct. That's also correct. Yeah. All right. Now, I have a departure. It is runway three already. Perfect. What about my arrival? Yeah, I have the Eagle six. And then we have an ILS for eight. It's probably what Simbrief thought would be the best one given the wind. We'll have a look at it in flight. So I know you have a lot going on, but I am having an issue with approaches. I seem to go off course in ILS approaches. I'm flying nav in GPS mode. So how close do I get before I hit approach mode? And do I change to VLOC instead of GPS? Yes. To fly an approach, you have to change it to VLOC. And I don't know what aircraft you're flying, but it sounds like you're using Garmin GPS, right? Or a GPS. Arzac. Uh, I think it's going to be a while. I think it's going to be a while. Seneca. Okay. So yeah, you have to be in VLOC. Have to be in VLOC. Have you tried that? All right, so this is all good. Let's get our APU running because we're about to go. APU invites. That's gone. APU door open. Let's start the APU. There she goes. In the meantime, I already aligned my IRSs. So I'm going to do... Whoops. Not this. Step trim. Mock trim. Your damper. This is in standby. That's fine. Okay. This is all configured for now. Let's start closing up shop. So we've got the cargo doors are open, right? There we go. There we go. Start closing up shop. We're gonna close up the service door. There we go. Getting ready to go on this flight. All right. APU is running. I can hear the air conditioning happening. Let's close the passenger door. Captain, the cabin is secure. All passengers are aboard. Awesome. All passengers are aboard. We're good there. Everything else looking good. All right. Butter's not what's going on. Doing well, man. Doing well. Thank you. How are you? How are you? Okay, so with the APU running, with the APU running, we can disconnect external power. So I'm going to do that now. And the plane kept on working. We can remove that external power. There we go. External power leaving. Tug is going to get connected. We're already 1228, okay. Already 1228. See something here. Okay. <clears throat> Albuquerque International Traffic, American 3024, pushing back from gate Bravo 3, facing west, Albuquerque traffic. Bryce, what's going on, man? What do you mean? Like, if you miss the runway, like you're going around or what, Bryce? Okie dokies. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Oh, nice. There's some people here. Sweet. Ah, let's go. I almost said it. Let's go. Okay. Brakes off. Start that 
Sexy, we're gonna go. Are you ready for this? Guys, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening to me. Beacon. Fuel pump, let's start that right engine. Whoops. No! No! And I was so proud. And I was so proud of the fact that I was getting the beacon on. Twice? How did I just say it again? I just said it now? When I was saying no, no, I was so proud? How did I say that? We did an alarm sound. Okay, so we got fuel flow, right? Light off. Okay, just one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, updated. You know what? I'm going to go straight back here. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention as we display the safety features and procedures of the aircraft. In case okay, of that was a good one. An Let's event, go for the left. Remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened and your seats in the upright position. And one rotation. In case of a dropping cabin, oil pressure rise. Slide, slide oil pressure rise. Ceiling and should be placed over your head. If there is smoke in the cabin during the evacuation of the aircraft, the walkway emergency lights will display to the exits which are located here and here. Ah, Bryce, not that far, not that far. I would go maybe one or two miles. Just one or two. Okay. All right, parking brake on. Tug is going to work on getting disconnected. Nose wheel steering comes on. That was a good engine start, too. Okay. All right, so we can stop the APU. We're going to go flaps eight. Arm those reversers. Transponder. I'm going to leave that guy there. Test on our uh, weather radar. Flight controls check. Up, 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 down. Down, up, up, up. Up, down, right and left. Trim, 7.2. There we go. And APU coming off. APU door closed. Okay. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, let's uh, look at the uh, chart again, people. And figure out our taxi route. So, we're going to go via Alpha 1 to Echo 1 to golf to Fox there we go should have started this chronometer when I started the engines I'm gonna leave it now and start the other one when we do the takeoff area clear let's do this She's light, shouldn't need much uh, much uh, power for taxi. Yeah, look, she's moving already. Hey, SQ, how's it going? Hello, Kingsman. Hello, Kingsman. How you doing, buddy? Oh, nice. There's some other of you guys here. That's fantastic, guys. I so love those windows on the CRJ. I know, right? 
Kelly, it's a huge window, man. Huge window. Oh, that's the runway. Jesus, I thought that was a taxiway. I'm like, whoa, okay. Then I was like, wait, why are these markings so important and bold? Oh, that's the runway. Got it. All right. Ah, thanks, Kingsman. I'm doing great. Doing great, buddy. Yes, Callie. Yes. And it's easier to see with Rex's, uh, you know, um... High definition textures. All right, so we're gonna go here, that way, past this runway eight, and then onto that golf. I think it was, right? Yep, yeah, golf. Albuquerque traffic, uh, American thirty twenty four is taxiing. To runway three via Alpha One, Echo One, Golf, Fox, and Fox Seven, Albuquerque traffic. All right, nice guys, nice. Yeah, look at this runway one too. So in here. You can do this. In real life, they say that's not, not available. Oh my god! Four? Four? In that little bit? Uh, I'm so disappointed in myself. So disappointed in myself. I had two early on, okay. Uh, uh. I don't understand how these happen, I really don't. It's like a mystery of the universe to me. <sighs> Sion. Default scenery for Ellie, yes. Ruben, thank you, Ruben. I love you. Jesus, got it. So how do we go to four if it was only two and I was at one? Ah, uh, Kelly, don't say that. Don't say that. I'm dreading it already, man. <laughs> Matt, it was Welsh. Welsh. But not surprised. Yeah, not surprised, but really disappointed. For a while, that little yellow building at GLRB was the whole International Passenger Terminal. Really? While it was under renovation, the runway facing wall wasn't even there. You just walked into the side of the building through. Oh my god, how do you know this, Repro? No, it's worldwide, Diligent. It's worldwide. What is only for the US, what is only for the US, are. Oops, sorry. are these amazing taxiway signs, right? So now I have taxiway signs that are very accurate everywhere. And that only ha happens with an add-on. Um, I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called. But it's specifically just for taxiway signs. All right. Coming up to Fox. But... Uh, Looks like the sim doesn't match. Looks like the sim doesn't really match. Wait, that's not even... Is that a runway? That's closed? What? You see this here, like having to do this on the taxiway. That does not happen in real life, right?
No, more like the airport did, FSB. More like the airport did. Look, I shouldn't be having to cross a runway here, right? No way! Pop up! Hey, how did it go, dude? How did it go? There's an add-on that closes that runway. Got it, Stefan. Thank you. Hey, for life, what's going on? Yeah, Dutch, it shouldn't be a runway there. That's why, buddy. What runway are we even going to? I think this is my runway here, not that. Do you see what I'm saying? I think this is my runway. What in the world is happening here? Wait, this is correct. Did I just screw up my taxi? Is that what happened? It was here. Look, I was supposed to turn here. Jesus. But wait, is that correct, though? Yes. So, but is this correct? Is the airport... Is this correct? Let me see. Two taxiways there, one here. It is not. It is not. Look. There should only be one there, right? One there. Hmm. Hmm. But Ruben, I did, but this intersection here is not correct. So, I, don't get me wrong, guys. I know I screwed up. It's on me. But, but, this isn't correct for some reason. I crossed on Charlie. Yeah, I did. I saw that. I saw that. But what I'm saying is, look, there should be only golf here. And I see two taxiways there besides golf. See one, two, and then the runway. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's right and I'm wrong. No! What? How am I saying these... Now this is a meme. Uh, uh, uh. I don't understand how my brain does this. I really don't. I'm also like very, very rocked by what just happened with taxiing. I think that's correct and I just screwed up. My brain is focusing on things it shouldn't focus right now. I gotta get ready for this takeoff, so wipe that stuff. Focus on what you need to do. <laughs> yeah, ancient. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's what I'm trying, diligent. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm failing. I'm failing. I'm still stuck on that taxiway. Like, what happened there? Hey, Nika Boss, how's it going, man? <laughs> oh, March. <laughs> yes, yes, we're on Vatsim. We are on Vatsim. Not a great start. Not a great start. Ah, sorry, man. With this whole distraction, I missed... Uh, uh, who was flying in the 172? Yeah, oh, Pop-Up. Pop-Up Polish. So, or sorry, Pop-Up Polish. Jesus. Okay, I gotta, I gotta recenter, guys. Hold on. Let me just shut up for a second. It's not even half an hour. Yeah, right. The centering is all out the window now. 
Okay. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. That should not be that at all. This is leading me to believe that there are some airport changes that have happened that are not in the sim. Hmm. Hmm. Very odd. Very odd. No, speed nuts. They get that information from an FAA database, right? This is from a, a, an official database. And so... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. A lot of them are wrong? No, no, no. Repro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... I'm not using the sim ones. I have an add-on that fixes all the taxiway signs. And they've been exceedingly accurate everywhere we've gone. Yeah, I saw it, Repro. I saw it. This, may, this and the airport diagram may be old data. May be old data. Yeah, it does, TJ. I mean, I see what you're saying. Like the runway sign next to the taxiway sign, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Savage. Yeah, Savage. Oh, IAD bound. That's awesome. Hey, thanks, man. That's great. I, I can't wait to see you online. All right. So now we have a checklist. Now we have a checklist. You're like, what? Yeah, of course. Look, operational checklist, right? So before takeoff, we're going to go fuel cross flow goes to manual. Okay. Anti-ice, we don't need it today. Altimeters, 304 weight once, twice, three times. Cast messages, no warnings or emergency or uh, sorry, cautions. And we have the six messages I'm looking for. Takeoff config OK, left and right reversers are armed. And then we have manual cross flow, seatbelts, and no smoking. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Fuel quantity checked. Why am I checking fuel quantity? Well, because I have a minimum fuel for takeoff to make sure I can make the destination and the 45 minutes and the alternate. So 7620, right? 7620. And if we go over here, look, minimum takeoff fuel 7401. See that there? So we're good. We are good. All right. Fuel is good. Uh, thrust reverse switches are on. We checked. In icing conditions, we don't need it. Slats flaps, 8. Indicating. Step trim, 7.2. 7.2. Yeah. And uh, takeoff briefing. But wait, there's one thing missing. I just thought of it, too, before I looked at the checklist. I was like, there's one thing I got to make sure I do. I can't recall. Yeah, butter snot. You would think. You would think. No, that only... Yes, Captain Gaming. Sorry, I, I said no. That only happens, though, on the runway. Because when you do the takeoff for the flight director, you're also updating the IRS position with the GPS position. And it expects it to be the runway position. Right? Right? No, there was something. There was something. Yeah, Nika, that's when we get to the runway. Oh, well. I'm definitely forgetting it. Just putting my radar to map, but that's that wasn't it. Speeds are in. Yeah, Savage, I'm going to, but I'm... Hmm. Okay. Albuquerque International Traffic, American uh, 36... Sorry, 3024 is departing runway 3 on the Roadrunner 3 departure to Zuni. Climbing to flight level 340. Albuquerque International Traffic. Works better when you take the brakes off. Brakes off. 
Landing lights, strobes, we got transponder on. Yep. Nika, V-Refs are in. Or V-Speeds, not V-Refs. V-Ref is one of the V-Speeds, but you say V-Speeds. Ha! 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 You old. You're learning. You are learning, sir. Wind is a little bit from the left, right? Because it's wind from the north. So that makes sense. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to press... Look, I'm going to change my flight director to takeoff mode. There we go, I press the toga button, which I have mapped, and I get my pitch uh, target, and and the IRS was just updated with the position of runway 03. Yeah, Nika, for sure. Sammy, we check it here, look. Right here, we rev the engines up to about 50% N1, and we make sure that all the engine parameters look good, and if they do, then it's brakes off, and we advance the throttles all the way to Toga. There. Toga. Airspeed is alive. That's important to make sure the pitot tubes are working. The engines are looking good. 80 knots. P1, hands off the throttle, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Pitching for that flight director. There we go. And right here, 400 feet, we're gonna go nav, speed, autopilot. Climb on the speed, flaps up. And now we go speed to 50. She already passed 6,000. So she's gonna turn left. Too low, great. Oh, that's not good to hear, is it? I'm VFR. I'm VFR, but wow, that was interesting. Too low, terrain. Yeah, she took a while to climb. I don't know why. Too low, terrain. That's not nice to hear on departure. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. There's the airport. And we're out of here. Oh yeah, Howie. That was right after takeoff. Yeah, here we go. Direct to... What is it? Roadrunner. It's so weird. <laughs> it's weird to me that I don't... I like, I don't get Roadrunner from those letters at all. My brain just doesn't see it. Weird, right? Okay, we're gonna pass 10,000, but... Because this is really high terrain, right? What do I mean by that? Well, I mean, did you see? Airport elevation, guys. Airport elevation is 5,300 feet. I'm going to keep my landing lights on until about 15,000 feet. Because I'm still, look, very close to the airport, right? And the lights stay on because this is a busy area. Oh, no, I said it, didn't I, Welsh? How come you're the only one that caught it, Welsh? But I, this one, I was like, wait a second, I think I saw, I think I said it. Welsh, god damn! Uh, uh. I have my ears peeled. Yeah, I bet you do, Welsh. I bet you do, buddy. So does that make sense, guys? Keeping the lights on until 15,000. 
Right? That's 10,000 feet above the airport, which is normally what you want to do. I'm just being zen with it. Just being zen with it. Let's speed up to 290. Jesus. Jesus. Close enough to 15. Lights off. Psychotic Jujus, thank you very much for the follow. Ah! Quantum Extreme, what's going on? Guys, we are seven! Seven! Oh no, I said it again! Ladies and gentlemen, we are now serving sandwiches. Uh, there, I'll just change it to that, okay? Fine? Fine? Fine! Fine! I can't do it. I just can't do it. I cannot do it. Holy man, what's going on, man? Oh, I've accepted my faith. Or my fate, my fate. My fate, yeah, excuse. Ah. Ah. All right, I did not do my climb checklist. My climb checklist is gonna be get this guy back to auto. These guys go that way. We're gonna go back to standard now. Standard altimeter setting all around. Guys for the win. Yes, Murphy. Jesus, man. Uh oh. Oh, Sim is. Sim is taking a break. No. No. I don't want the fake. I don't want the fake heads up display. How do I put it up again? I thought it was here. Oh. I guess it didn't register my first click. Ah, uh, uh, ten beans. God damn, you guys. Wait, how did this change? It was supposed to be 34. Oh, it's stuck in, uh, yeah, okay. There we go, 34. No, DJ, once we get to 10, we stop, buddy. I'm not gonna eat more than 10 beans. Yeah, 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 DJ. No worries, buddy. No worries. If we cap it at 10. Because there's no way. Ugh. God. Exactly, Cobra. Exactly. <laughs> it's a test at Geneva Convention. Whoa. Look at this, guys. I was looking. I was looking forward to some vistas we were going to have today. Sammy, don't worry. It's capped at 10, guys. Capped at 10. Capped at 10. So, here, I'll do this. I'll do this. There we go. No, Queens, I'm not, but I'm not moving the mouse. Look, I use this guy right here. See this guy on my head? This weird looking thing? It's actually tracking. I have a little camera on my desk and it's tracking my my head as I move around. Or as I move forward and back and up and down. Right? So it's called Track IR, Queens. Yeah, Santi just posted it there on chat. Whoa, Tomcat, nice. Evo underscore Steve just reached Oh, nice Evo. Hope you have a great Dude, thank you very much for that sub. Yeah, Love man, me too. Eddie and I can't it. wait. We can't wait. Oh, alright, Dalmatian. What's cooking? What's cooking? Stream links.
Guys, 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 seriously, guys, 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 Oh, B King. Can somebody explain? We have a we have a uh is it exclamation mark beans? Welsh, I love slash hate you today. <laughs> hey, B-King, right there. Check out that link that DC just posted. Or Zasran is explaining it to. Yeah, Maku. <laughs> foda, man, foda. All right, guys, so we already changed over to Mach 7.4, or we should. So I'm going to do that now. And click to 7.4, which is pretty much the speed that we're at. And now we're going to climb at 7.4. Perfect. Yeah, B-King. Yeah. No, Luxionic, I did not. Did not. Can you put it in stream links, please? Then we'll watch it here. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Abby's new ringtone. <laughs> you should go to the USS Midway while you're in San Diego. Well worth it. Thanks, JW. Thanks. Yeah, Abby and I are actually looking at what we're going to do when we're there. Ah, some stream, review, blog, conference, or just enjoy. So, Guybrush, uh, good question, right? Flight Sim Expo this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be there in San Diego. Thank you, Luxionica. We're going to watch it. Um... And uh, I'm going to have... So, yeah, I want to walk around. I've never been. Never been to a flight sim conference, right? So I want to walk around. I want to sort of, you know, just meet people. That's number one, is meeting people, meeting viewers. That's going to be amazing, right? But also seeing all the exhibitor stands. You know, a lot of companies are going to be there. And there's some, like, important stuff being revealed at the show. Thrustmaster. Thrustmaster said... They have a new hardware that they're going to only reveal at the show. So pretty awesome, right? So I'm looking forward to that too. And then um, I also have my own talk. What? That's right. Check it out. So here's Flight Sim Expo 2021. By the way, you don't have to go in person. You can attend this virtually. It's only 15 bucks. And they're streaming all the major... Uh, the major... Um, uh, talks, right, events. So look, there's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? On Saturday, Saturday and Sunday are the days where most of the events happen. But on Saturday, check this out. Seminar schedule, right? We have a lot of cool stuff. There's flight dispatch by two real dispatchers. Uh, home cockpit stuff. Thrust master seminar. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. And then, by the way, look at this. Sarah, or Sarah, Sarah Alawami. Thank you. She is legally blind and uses a sim. She's going to talk about how she does that. Pretty amazing. And then, lots of stuff, right? Explain stuff. Then look at this. At 3.30. What? That's right. I have uh, I have a little talk. I'm gonna tell people sort of my story, how I got here, how I got to be the the streamer I am today, and then we're gonna roll into an AMA. Ask me anything, right? Little Q and A uh, session, and then there's some other stuff at the uh, at the end of the day. So there you go. Ah, if you buy a virtual ticket, will there be VODs of the talks? Oh! Uh, I think the answer is yes, DC. Right? Does anybody know for sure, but I think the answer is yes. Ah, Joe, no, it's gonna be online also. Online also. Yeah, thanks for asking. Ah, yes, that's why I bought it, yep. Okay, cool, so VODs are out there, nice, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Guys, where are we? Are we almost... Oh, my God. 
I didn't hear the level off. I didn't hear the the 1,000 foot marker. Okay, let's get this power down to about 80. I don't know, 83 or so. I'm talking N1 percentage here, so that we can be a 70 Mach 74, right? Can't see my next waypoint. That's not good practice. There we go. Now I'm gonna start my top of descent very soon here. Look, there's already descents coming up, right? So let's uh, let's figure this out. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Execute. And okay, yeah. Look, there's a 330 below coming up at Tinnis. So let's look at that arrival. Man, it's a quick flight, huh? All right, here's Zuni. So this is the Eagle 6 Arnev arrival. Arnev starts to Phoenix, Arizona. Chart 10-2 Foxtrot. Issue 28 December 18, effective 3 January for Phoenix Sky Harbor. Okay. Airport elevation 1135. It's a lot lower than Albuquerque. Altimeter setting in inches. Yeah, transfer level flyable 180. Radar required. Arnev 1. DME, DME, RU, or GPS required. And turbojet aircraft only. File Gallup or Zuni transitions only. Winds low transition up here. Aside by ATC for hazardous weather avoidance only. Oh, interesting. Gallop in Zuni transition for non-GPS aircraft. That's not us. Must be operational. Landing east for non-GPS aircraft. That's also not us. Okay. So, from Zuni to Dojo slider. Uh, Tinnis uh, below flight level 330. Got it. And then we have a bunch of other altitudes here. Oh, and 270. Okay. Um... Interesting, because normally at this altitude, you don't have speed restrictions, but they're doing it here. Okay, so we have some speed restrictions, some altitude restrictions. 270, 270, 260. Okay, Homer, 250. And then, look, then it, they split, because we're going to be landing east or landing west, right? Let's see which way we're landing today. Wind 0905, we're landing east. No question about that. So, we're going to take the Obase transition here. And it looks like it's 7,000, my bottom altitude for this arrival. And then it's radar vectors to probably an ILS, right? Yeah, okay, we don't need to look at this. Holding over PXR. Okay. So runway seven left, right, and eight from Homer. Check to K. Yeah, and then check. Yeah, right. Nothing, nothing crazy there. Okay. Okay. So we got this. Uh, let's see if we have a top of descent. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to MFD menu and turn on the VNAV window. There it is. And look, descent to Tinnis. Tinnis is 95 miles from where I am right now. And yeah, the top of descent I can see here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Look. The top of descent is that little green circle right before Tinnis. And you're like, why is it so close? Well, because Tinnis is flight level 330 or below. And I'm at 340. I'm only going to have to lose 1,000 feet by the time I get there. Hey, Burrs, what's going on, man? Oh, it looks idiotic, I know, right? Or how about Homer of uh, ancient literature? Landing Zemex? No. The wind is coming from the east. It's blowing this way from my hand over to the airport. So we're going to land opposite the wind. So we're going to obase. Right? And then, and then, let's have a look at the airport here, figure out where we're going to land. Okay, so we could land at, I mean, any of these runways is big enough for us to land, but probably one of the bigger ones, right? So eight or seven left and if you look at the approach lights see how there's a lot of approach lights to seven left a lot to seven right no approach lights to eight that tells me seven left is more used than eight you can never be 100 percent sure about that but that's what it looks like right score what's going on buddy thank you very much for that sub man i appreciate that guys we're two people away from 7,000 followers. Two people. Oh, my God. Now we're one person away because Pilot Millie just followed. Thanks, Pilot. What's going on, buddy? K 
Can you see me or a crater? One or two o'clock on the horizon. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know, but here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Scotland Den. 7,000 followers, everybody! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Scotland Den. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Ta-da! Yes, thank you very much. All right, we got work to do, but... But... You know me, right? You know me. Oh, DC, thank you very much, dude. Wow! Thousand bits right there, folks. All right, so, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let the plane keep going. There she goes. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. There she goes. And we're gonna go over here and see if we find the crater. How far is the crater? Does anybody know? Thank you, pilot. Cam trails. <laughs> well earned. Thank you, Sion. Thank you very much. Oh, DC, come on, dude. You don't have to do that. Thanks, man. I really do appreciate that. That's amazing, DC. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see it. If you find the interstate, it's on the south side, a bit past the petrified forest, okay? Kind of looking everywhere just to make sure we're not we're not missing it, right? Little Jimmy. Oh, the Jimmy bean Matt eating. Just Thanks, buddy. For three months. Thank Thanks you. For all the hard work and all the bean eating. Thanks, bud. Very much appreciate that. In real life, mister, that's amazing. Oh, Sim is having a Sim is having a hiccup. I just watched Scott Manley's video on uh, Meteor Crater, and it's awesome. I mean, I already knew it was awesome, but it's an awesome video, too. Quite windy up here. Yes. Yes. SQ. Thank you very much for that, dude. <laughs> Let's go, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I don't see. I don't see it. I don't see it. And I, I'm going to get back to the aircraft. Watch this. Are you ready? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cutes. Cutes with another five subs. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Nah, Savannah, I don't anymore. I don't anymore. I mean, I'd like to. Like, for fun, here and there, you know what I mean? It's quite a thing to see. Yeah, I bet, Quetipus. I've never been there in real life. Pretty far away. Ah, okay, Skylane, all right. Yeah, hold on, Guybrush. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a busy flight. Ah, uh, it's a short flight. Sorry, I thought we were going to have time, but... I, uh... I gotta start... Choosing an approach here, right? So I think seven left is probably gonna be it. And the fact that you showed up first here, actually, no, that's in. That doesn't mean anything. All right, so we're gonna be north here. Look, we can just kind of vector ourselves into this approach. So maybe I can even start at Avona, at Avona, right? Let me see if I can get Avona as a as an initial approach fix. So let's go to departure arrival. Okay, seven left is what I want, right? Oh, and Avona. Perfect. Execute that. Now I want to go and see that that worked, right? So you guys remember how to do that. We go to north up. There we go. We're going to zoom way in. Whoops. And then we're going to go MFD advance and go next waypoint, next waypoint. There's Zuni. Come on, come on, come on. Tennis. Peso, Eagle, Homer, Botox, <gasps> uh, Gein, uh, Queenie, and then I need to zoom in more. There we go. There we go. Piney, Obase, and then look, from Obase, direct to Avona. Right? Direct to Avona. So this worked. This worked well. And she's going somewhere else now. Fantastic. Oh, what? I don't know why that happened, but what if we do this? No, 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 no. Not Dojo Slider. Slider's the next one. There we go. Execute that. Not sure why that happened. 
That's a bug in the FMS. Actually, I'm gonna go straight to Tinnis. Because I'm too close to Slider. There we go. Execute that. There we go. And now I lost my top of descent. Yeah, Cass. I know. I know. I tend not to do that on stream sometimes. Also flying a little too fast here, so bringing back that power. Man, it is desert, desert, desert out here, isn't it? Spitfire! What's going on, buddy? How's it going, man? Hello, Spit. Interesting that I still don't have a TOD. That's odd, isn't it? Hmm. Look, it shows a climb. Tin is fly level 330. What? What if I put Zin? Can I actually put Zin as the from waypoint? Yeah, it's the first one. Like this? Then I got a TOD. Look at that. Then I got a TOD. Interesting. Oh, it's Zoom. Really? My bad. Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie daisies. Well, it still gave me a from, right? So all I needed was a from. And now I have a top of descent. Odd. Odd, odd, odd. But hey, I'm not complaining. I ain't complaining. Guys. Peter, it was guys. No way. Hey, 777, at least it's in the right direction. You know, it's behind me somewhat in the right bearing. <laughs> Guybrush, it's going to be... It's going to be at uh, San Diego. In a hotel in San Diego. Cassian. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa! DAO Dalmatian. $50. Congratulations on 7k followers. Dude, let's go. Thank you very much, Dalmatian. 50 bucks. That's amazing. That's amazing, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. All right. So, top of these hits coming up. That means we've done already our arrival planning. We haven't done our approach brief. So, let's do that now. Here we are, right? Coming up to Tinnis. Uh, I'm going to... Put this here and put this here. So, here we go. ILS or localizer DME oh, runway 7 left at Phoenix, Arizona. For 10 months. Oh, Lorian! Thank you very much, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, man. All right, chart 11-1. It was issued 17 April 20th for Phoenix Sky Harbor International. Okay, altimeter setting in inches, transition level level 180, transition altitude 18,000. DME required. VGSI, visual glide slope indicator. In this case, it is a... Pappy on the left side. The four lights, white or red. And ILS glide path, not coincident. Okay, so if we are on the glide slope, exactly centered on the glide slope, remember that Pappy is not going to look right. It's not going to be too white and too red. It's going to be something else, right? Okay. And that's it. Okay, so starting at Avon, our initial approach fix. We're going to go from Avona, 4,000 minimum altitude to QAQCE, 4,000 all the way to Foley. At Foley, we descend to 2,600, to Zynga, and we intercept the glide slope at 2,600. Tubes, what's going on, man? Uh, look at the question about lines on the FMS, okay? Gone now. What's the blue line on the left of the FMS screen? Let me finish this briefing here and we'll go look. So Zynga intercept the glide slope. We go down on a three degree, right? Porto Serla, minimum today, 1326 to 210 feet above the runway elevation. Okay. So 1326 goes in as our minimum. Yeah. Okay. 
Then, missed approach. We're going to put the minimum in next. So, missed approach is climb to 5,000, then left turn direct to PXR VOR and hold. So, very simple missed approach. Okay, 1326 going in. Are we almost at the TOD? Oh, yeah. So, let me do this. 4,000 on the altitude. There's 4,000. And I am in my TOD, so vertical speed. And down we go. I'm going to start at 3,500 feet per minute. That seems to be a good rate as soon as I start. And, uh, yeah, looks like it's about what I need. Oh, it just updated itself. Just updated itself. Speed is good. Passing tennis at 33. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Now I can adjust this to match the vertical speed that it's being called, which is about 1,000 feet per minute. See that blue little uh, circle there? So, Knights, what line are we talking? I know I don't see a line right now, but was I on a different page? No, Kelly, uh, it's very common for airliners. Initially, on the initial descent, you do three or 4,000 feet per minute. It's pretty common. Pretty common because most airliners are programmed, designed, the procedure is designed to descend at idle. And so you literally bring the engines to idle and you descend at idle the whole way. So you're, you're basically gliding in. The discontinuity blocks in blue. Or blue needles. Hold on, speaking of which. Speaking of which. Well, the shadow of the sun is so impressive to watch. I agree, Savannah. I agree. I agree. Look at that. Look at this. Is that snow? That looks like snow, and there's some high terrain up ahead. Before we get to Phoenix, right? Ah, on the map when I was zoomed out. Okay. On the map when I was zoomed out. Ah! Got it. So. <laughs> Knights. Aviation lesson number 39. This isn't blue. In aviation, this is called cyan. Yes, yes. This is the missed approach. The missed approach can be shown in the MFD. You don't have to. Look, as a matter of fact, uh, MFD advanced, no, MFD menu. Look, missed approach. If I turn this off, it's on because it's green. If I turn this off, that's going to disappear. There it is. And if I turn it on, there it is again, right? Um, it's extending a line out here because it thinks this is when I'm going to get to 5,000 after the departure. It's not true. It's not true. So if I want to see what it's doing, I'm going to go back to north up. Whoops. Oh, and I still have to do MDA, so we'll do that. But I'm going to go back to north up. I'm going to zoom in big, big time. Go to MFD Advance. Next, 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 next. And then when we get to the runway... Look, as soon as we get to the runway, everything after is cyan because it is... Yeah, yeah, nights. I know, I know. Everybody calls it blue, but in aviation, technically, it's cyan. And that is magenta. Two important colors in aviation. Anyways, I gotta increase my vertical speed here, it looks like. But it's gonna be uh, up to 5,000 and turn around and hold that PXR. So that's what that is. Let's put our MDA in, shall we? Adjust VNAV, put MDA in. Okay, MDA 1326. There we go. There's 11, 13, 30. I can't do 26, so I have to be conservative, so 1330 is my minimum. Okay, we're good, speed's good. Actually, speed's not good. It went back to Mach for some reason, and it should be at 290. So we're going to speed up to 290. Okay. Okay. 
like in the FMS on the A320 or the 737. So Kelly, this has a hold function too, and I heard that it works. So basically, in the hold, look, you need to, well, I don't know about the other FMSs, right? But when you hit hold, the first thing you want to do is hold that where? So you need to select the waypoint, right? So for example, let's select Gino, okay? Gino, and then it says, okay, uh, the way you're approaching Gino right now, and look, it already added a hold. You see the little hold there? That little white racetrack, right? Uh, because look, it says a radio here, but I can change that. I can go, hey, I want to hold on the 140 radio. And watch what happens to that little racetrack when I put 140 over here on the inbound course, right? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I put a slash first because I thought it was the other field. 140. Put it over here. Do I have to do a slash R? I think I do. Oops. Slash R. There it is. Look, now we changed that hold over there. Right? So, you put in all the parameters of the hold. What radio, leg times, you know, maximum speed should already be selected for you. Uh, but basically, you just have to tell it, like, the inbound radio and if it's right or left turns. That's it. The rest, it figures out. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. All right. We're now going to Homer. I need to steepen my vertical speed a little bit here. Looks like it's going to be about 3,000 now. My speed's a little high. So we're going to go back to idle. Man. What an arid, arid region. Yeah, you all. I just saw. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, trying to do too much. And Guybrush, sorry, man. Never had the time to show your video. We have another flight. In the other flight, I'll probably have more time. It's a longer flight. But this was a busy one, Guybrush. I'm sorry. All right, Kelly. Yeah, I hope it helps. I hope it helps. Snacks on the next flight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope so. I hope so, Santi. I'm getting hungry, too. It's a heading missed approach. Uh, yes. Yes, well. Technically, well, it, it is because here. They don't say, right? They just say climb to 5,000. But of course, you stay on that same, that same track, right? But, that being said, the FMS should be smart enough, Triple Seven, to realize that I'm not going to take 200 miles like it was showing to get to 5,000, right? As a matter of fact, we've seen this on departure where it does calculate when it thinks I'm going to get to an altitude on departure, when there's an altitude on the SID. And it does create a waypoint and says, hey, I think you're going to get to it here. I don't know why it didn't do it here on the missed approach. Which is great. You'll need snacks on the ground. <laughs> Butter snot. <laughs> Phoenix just closed down. Divert to Sedona. <laughs> Mr. Pilot. Hey, that would be really cool. That'd be really cool. Colonel Jakes, good day, man. How's it going? Oh, it's going beautiful, Colonel Jakes. We broke through 7,000 followers today. Just now. I'm at 7,002, Colonel Jakes. So it's going awesome. Thanks for the 100 bits, buddy. Appreciate that. Olorian, did I thank you? I think I thanked you for the, the resub, but thank you, buddy. Got it, Guybrush. I got it. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Ah, two cats. Thank you very much. Boom Flare, you just became 7,003. Hey, buddy. Thank you very much. I don't think so, DC. I don't think so. I'm going to check real quick here. I have a little flight plan app that Santi turned me on to. Santi, thank you very much. It's a great app. Whoa, adjusting vertical speed. Adjusting vertical speed. It's now... Whoa! Fi oh, look. It's because we're passing a waypoint, guys. Boom. As soon as we pass it, it's going to go back to being something else. Plus, I have to... Hold on. I have to go to local altimeter setting. Phoenix is 3008. 3008. I it has reset the VNAV, but I just don't need this steep dive anymore. 3008. 
going in once, twice, three times. There we go. Okay. Still on VNAV, doing well. Uh, what is Sedona? SEZ? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah, this app didn't find any flight plans for Sedona. Yeah, Santi, it's very nice. It's very nice. Man, it's hard to, like, imagine that people live out here, isn't it? It's just desert. How do you even get water, you know? Got it, Guybrush. Thank you. Yeah, I want to do it, buddy. I want to do it. Oh, speed's getting a little low now. But that's okay, because we're getting close to 15. I'm still going to add a little power here. All right, so we're going to come on this way and then turn left for the airport. I don't see the airport just yet. I think that's Phoenix right there. So the airport's here somewhere. Ah, Sammy, I have a pause button. Um, so I have a key on my keyboard where I pause, look, and then, you know, and then I unpause, and there we go. Yes, cutes, for sure. I actually want to do a whole, a whole week of it, cutes. Uh, actually, probably it and the CRJ is I, I want to do a corporate week where it'd be like a week of what corporate pilots go through, right? And of course, the CRJ can and is used as a corporate aircraft by some companies as a shuttle. So we could use it too, but I'm going to use the CJ-4 mainly. Ah, it's a beautiful landing, Ori. It's a beautiful landing. Uh, it is called Flight Plan Visualizer. Flight Plan Visualizer. All right, guys. 12.5. At 11, I'm going to start slowing for 250, okay? Maybe 11.5. At 11.5, I'm going to start slowing. Still can't see the airport. I know it's here somewhere, but I can't... Oh! No. No, that's not it. Because, look, it's up here, right? The airport is, like, right here. So it's right there somewhere. I just can't see it yet. Oh, here's an airport. That's not our airport, but look, look at the lights. Can you guys see that? Look at the runway end identifier lights, the two blinking lights. Cannibalistic cow, what's going on, buddy? All right, 11.5, engines back, dial 250. Oh, I just remembered there was 270 speeds. Oops, I busted a bunch of speeds, guys. I just remembered this arrival had speeds also. And they're all in here, too. Look. Yeah. Totally forgot that. My bad. My bad. Man, look at this. This sim is just insane. Look at this neighborhood. They, they keep pushing up in a valley over here. Same here. Man, when it rains, these people might get some flooding, huh? I mean, not flooding, but like torrential rivers coming down. 260, coming up on 10. I'm going to do my lights so I don't forget. There we go. Seatbelts are on. Luckily, it doesn't rain. Well, that's what I mean, DC. When it rains, right? When it rains, it must be pretty bad. All right, so look. Airport is at my 11 o'clock, 15 miles. So it's got to be there somewhere, maybe. Maybe that's it right there. Well, Kelly, I think, I think... Arid places like this, yeah, the, the water does get sucked in, but like initially, I think it just flows on the surface, no? Probably, Cali, probably. I honestly, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, right? But I honestly, oh, the name's not there anymore. I honestly try not to look, like my brain ignores those name tags because I try to pretend like it's real world. Like in real world, I wouldn't see a tag, right? So how do I know where the airport is? It is a big city, isn't it? Wow, look at this nice neighborhood over here. Ve a lot of trees. A lot of trees. That looks like a golf course, maybe? I'm 
Guybrush, how long is the video? I'm still slowing down because remember, I'm supposed to be doing 210 around here. I'm gonna deflect the flat or slats because we're under. Look, I have max speed here. It's 230 for one degree flaps and eight degree flaps, right? I'm under that. So I'm gonna go with slats. Slats deploy. There we go. Ah, this is the one I wanted. So we got the slats out. Yeah, they tell you it's a dry heat, exactly. Okay, airport somewhere. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that must be it. It's hard to tell. Here's downtown. Here's a park. Too long for now. Eight minutes. Okay, but you can tease a little. Uh, jumping at six. No, no, I can do it on the ground. I'm thinking about doing it during the turn, Guybrush. During the turn while we're on the ground. We got the ILS dialed in. Look, the blue here is the ILS. Localizer is already being received. For some reason, VNAV wants me to stop. Oh, hold on. That's because he wanted me at 7,000. Do you remember that? These waypoints are 7,000. But since I already linked this to the 4,000, and of course, no obstacles, right? I'm just going to do it. I know, Knights, it's insane, right? Insane. Oh, it's a golf course. It's a golf course. Look at that. Can you imagine the amount of water this needs to stay like that in the desert? Look at that little hill in the middle of town. There's the airport. <laughs> Rebel. I live in Florida and visit Vegas frequently. I'll take 115 in Vegas over 98 in Florida every day of the week. But that's just me. I agree with you, Nick. I agree with you. Do you visit Vegas for fun? Frequently? Is that what it is? Coming up to 4,000. Humid heat is way worse. I agree, Raunchy. I agree. I've been in like 115 degree heat in the high desert of California, right? In Palmdale. And I had a long sleeve, uh, like dress shirt on, and I didn't even sweat. There was a bit of wind which helped, but I didn't even sweat. When I lived in Florida, ah, fun and conferences, a lot of IT conferences there. Ah, get the IT nerds out of their comfort zone. Leveling off at four. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to keep 200 on the speed until we intercept, until we intercept the, uh, the localizer. So, um, I lived in Florida. I went to school in Florida at Ember Riddle, right? And, uh, oof, man. By the way, guys, this turn is going to be too tight for the ILS. So, what I'm going to do... Look, we're in vectoring, right? So, right now, she is in FMS, but she's just maintaining heading. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heading myself, like, up here, and then turn in and intercept. Right? Because I have to be at 4,000 at Fowley. So, once I pass Fowley... Once I pass Fowley a little bit, I'll just turn and intercept. Lived in Florida, went to school there. I used to take three showers a day. I'll take a shower in the morning. And I rode a uh, motorcycle. So uh, I was always out in the elements, right? I'd come back home at lunch and I'd take a, I'd take a shower because I'd already be super sweaty. And of course, guys, I'm... Well, not of course. I am slightly, slightly responsible. So, I wore full gear for the motorcycle, right? Leather jackets, pants, helmet. Because I want my skin after a fall, and I did fall. Uh, not my fault. Hit a puddle of oil on a turn. But anyways. Um, yeah, I would take a shower at lunch, and then I'd take a shower in the evening. Look, another airport here, guys. Yeah, Kelly, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Aldora, there's no ATC right now. As a matter of fact, yeah, I should be making calls. I forgot about that. 
Phoenix High Harbor traffic, American 3024, is on a downwind, left downwind, for the ILS runway 07 left uh, at 4,000 feet for Albuquerque International traffic. Dress to fall, exactly, exactly. So what happened was, uh, I'm gonna heading myself around now, guys. What happened was, it was nighttime, and I was at a busy intersection, and I was, at, I was turning uh, right, right? And it, I think a lot of you guys know, in the US, in the US, you can turn right on red in most intersections, right? You don't have to wait for the green light. You pull up, you look, you wait for a gap, and then you turn right. So it's nighttime, I'm at a light on the right turning lane. And uh, now I'm gonna do this, guys, hold on. I'm gonna go this, direct folly, execute, and nav my way there. There we go. And then I'll just, uh, just to, to do that, right? And then I'll arm the approach and capture that localizer when we get there. You can turn right after you stop, right? You have to come to a full stop. Come to a full stop on the rightmost lane. Look for traffic, right? And then if you can turn, you turn. Okay, cool. Cool. That's crazy. <laughs> no, it works really well. Trust me. It works really well. There's a lot of things that don't work really well in the United States. That works really well. And so, there's a truck, like a like a small like fuel truck, um, stopped at the lights. He's waiting to turn right. Then there's a car. Then there's me on my motorcycle, right? Hey, Subsonic, what's going on, man? Um, so the truck is stopped, right? It's busy intersections. He's waiting, waiting. Eventually, he goes. Okay. The car pulls up and stops. I pull up behind the car. And the car, right, stops, waits for traffic, and goes. I pull up, and I see that they're the same gap that the car went in, I can fit in. So I do a quick stop. I do stop. I do a quick stop. I'm looking at the traffic just to make sure, right? Do a quick stop and go. Halfway through the turn, halfway through the turn, um, hold on a second. I'm going to arm the approach. There it is. Localizer's armed, glide slope is armed. We're below the glide slope, so that should work. Oh, I need to descend to 2600 too. At Fowley. So let's put 2600 in here. 29. 2600. There it is. Now, she may capture the glide, but I don't think so, because it's slightly above. But by the time you get there, maybe. Anyways, halfway through the turn, the bike just slides from under me, right? Literally, just like, boom. And I, I have the presence of mind enough to put my foot down. There's the localizer being captured. And glide slope just captured too. Okay. I put my foot down, was able to get the bike back up once. She goes again. And now we fall, right? I fall eventually on my back. I'm not going that fast, but I still slide a little bit on my back and stop. And I'm on the right lane of a busy, busy avenue. And so I get up right away, right? I'm not hurt or anything. I get up right away. And... One second. Send those speeds. Did I get it? There we go. Okay, I guess so. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I got the uh, 188 as the final takeoff segment. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go gear down. Flaps eight. Sorry, it's hard to tell the story. It's hard to tell the story. Below 185, we can go flaps 30, actually. Let me do flaps 20. Flaps 30. Matching my speed here for now. At 1,000 feet, we want to be fully configured, right? That means full flaps, gear down, fully configured for landing, and on glide and on speed. So let's go full flaps now. Dial up our approach speed, which is in blue there. There we go. 
We're on glide on the localizer, slightly above. The Pappy's showing properly now. I'll finish the story when we get on the ground, guys. Hey, CW. You know, I do. I haven't flown it in a long time. But I'm about to fly a whole week using the CJ4 and maybe the CRJ a little bit. 1, okay, 1,000. We're on speed. We're stable. On speed, on the localizer, fully configured. Oh, I need the go-around altitude. Forgot that. It's going to be 5,000. There it is. 5,000 is set. Okay. This is a mall? Is that what this is? Ah, look at the VGSI, guys. I'm on glide slope. VGSI shows low. Four hundred. <laughs> Woo! Autopilot off. Three Reversers, nose down, reversers are out. Did I not arm the reversers? I didn't arm the reversers, Jesus. All right, 60, we can take the high speed. So much butter. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys. So off on the high speed, right? Flaps all the way up. Clear left. Strobes come off. Landing light come off. Keep that uh, transponder in there. I'm gonna show you this right here. So we're going to terminal four. Which is gonna be over here on the right side. Ah, yeah, Vidris. It's pretty good, right? Actually, that's that's a 3D model. That's not a real... That's not a real picture of my Hotas, buddy. Look, you don't see my hand on it when I move it. <laughs> it's because my hand is painted green. No, I'm kidding. Oh, that looks like Vetsin. I should have been making calls, huh? Hey, Barley, to the bank. Albuquerque International Traffic American 3024 has vacated runway 7 left and we're taxiing to Terminal 4 via Delta. Uh, Phoenix, sorry, not Albuquerque traffic. <laughs> that was Phoenix traffic. Phoenix traffic. American 3024 vacated runway 7 left and is taxiing via Delta to the terminal. Phoenix traffic. Jesus! <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, Nico is here. What's going on, Nico? Okay, let's get the APU running, guys. Let's get the APU running. Okay, clear right, clear left. We got APU door open, APU SOV open. Fire it up. And there she goes. Okay, very good. Hello, Cleveland. <laughs> Jammer. Yeah, Omar, it's not, been, it's not been a smooth day, has it? Has not been a smooth day. It's like being in a class without the teacher. Yeah, Johnny, exactly. Exactly, Johnny. <laughs> That's so true, man. So true. Okay. APU is almost there. A lot more. <laughs> Santi. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> All right, Nika Boss. Thank you for being here, buddy. Lack of reversal in sim doesn't seem to cause issues in most situations. Yeah, Pibao, I think the brakes are too strong. I think the brakes are too strong. 
Okay, the APU is up and running, so we're going to be able to transfer air conditioning and electrical loads to it once we park here. Which airport is this? This is Phoenix Sky Harbor. Augie. How are you, Augie? All right, here we go. Turn off that taxi light. Don't want to blind those ramp people. Yeah, Guybrush. Yes, sir. All right. Right about here. Parking brake on. Engines off. Seatbelt signs off. Open that main cabin door. Install wheel chocks. External power. Let's get the uh, baggage. Let's get baggage going. Some catering too. Jetway is connecting. Okay. There we go. And beacon off. Oh my god, I remembered. Oh my god, I remembered. <laughs> what? So, yeah, but the APU, we wait for the uh, the ground connection, right? So ground connection, of course, happens immediately when I press this. In real life, it takes a couple of minutes, DC. And then they'll give us the signal that we got ground connection, or you're going to notice in the electrical page that you have external AC. Great. Let's, uh, let's enable it by pressing this button in. There it is. It's still available. It's still not being used because the APU is still on and taking that load right but all i need to do is shut down the apu so let's go shut down the apu over here there it is and now look external power picked up that load everything stayed on the irs is most importantly stayed aligned and the apu is off we're not using any fuel in the aircraft anymore all right we have 4360 pounds of fuel what did simbrief say we were gonna have We were going to have, ah, 4,100. Okay, so Simbrief uh, profile is using a little bit more fuel than our aircraft, which is good. We're always going to be conservative that way. Let's see here. I just finally learned the G1000 over the weekend. Ah, can I say how satisfying it is when the localizer catches for an LS? So great. That's true, Omarch. But yeah, the RNAV approaches are going to be amazing. Using VNAV? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, guys. Of course, master warning, master caution, turn on, right? When you turn off several systems in the aircraft, because they Delta, think, oh, Delta boy, what's happening here? You know? Nice. Uh, DC, it's not just a 30-minute reserve. It's fuel to hold for 45 minutes, not 30, 45 for IFR flights. VFR is 30, IFR is 45. Plus, plus fuel to get to Prescott, right? So, the basic Captain, fuel rules cool. is enough to go from origin to destination, shoot an approach, go around at the destination, right? Then fly to your alternate. Correct. Then fly to your alternate. Then shoot an approach. No, sorry. Hold for 45 minutes. Then shoot an approach and land. That's the fuel you need. Minimum. So that's why we're carrying 4,000 pounds, right? No. Ah, yes. You mean right at takeoff. Yeah, I had, I think, 100 pounds more. I had 100 pounds more. Remember? I had 39 and it was supposed to be 38. Or something like that. It wasn't 39. VNAV until the glide path intercept and then it's glide path, I think, from there on in the G-Series airplanes on LPV approaches. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I need a bathroom break. We're doing a quick turnaround and, and what I'm gonna do is there's a couple of things I wanna show you guys. One is Guybrush's video, but the other uh, is Antarctica by Aerosoft. I'm gonna start with Guybrush. I'm gonna start with Guybrush. Guybrush, uh, did you post that somewhere? Is there a link somewhere? Motorbike, right? Thanks, Johnny. So, 
it's my turn, right? The truck went, the car went, it's dark. And then I go. Halfway through the turn, she wobbles. I pick her up once. Second time, she goes down. I go down on my back. I get up. And now where I am, I'm on the I'm on the road, right? Of a four-lane, basically, highway. Um, and I can see now, because of the reflection of the headlights coming towards me, there's a huge puddle of oil on the turn. Huge puddle. I couldn't see it because it was nighttime. And where I was before the turn, I didn't have any reflections on that puddle, right? Um, huge puddle of oil. It must have been from that fuel truck that sat there for a while, right? Um, and by the time I got up and was on my feet, a car had already pulled over, right? He was kind of blocking the lane so nobody would run me over, which was really nice. And he's like, hey, are you okay, etc. Yeah. And, 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 um, and he had seen the puddle of oil. He goes, man, I think it's that huge puddle of oil. I go, yeah, I see it now. Um, so, I was very lucky not to get run over, not to break anything, but, uh, but I'll tell you what, that jacket, that's why I have skin on my back to this day, because I slid a good, like, six to ten feet on my back. <laughs> yeah, Quetipus. Exactly. Alright, guy, brush. In MP on Discord. Uh, MP. Oh, I see. Alright, guys, so... I'm gonna go to the bathroom. In the meantime, you guys are gonna watch episode two, episode two of Guy Brush's adventure, which is really awesome. If you like uh, The Secret of Monkey Island, these are really cool. All right, guys. Sorry, speed. Albuquerque to Phoenix. Next is Phoenix to Reno. Phoenix to Reno. Okay. We're gonna fly plan that and go, but in for now, Let's watch this video while I go to the bathroom. Be gentle, guys, says Guybrush. Okay, good luck. All right, be right back.
plus 24% of the gold is not compostable. Sassen. Oh, I didn't know you lived in Scotland, Sassen. For some reason, every time I see your name, I think Germany. But we've talked about this. Yeah, Sassen. Or Sassenach. Or Sassenach. We've talked about this, so I remember now. Thank you. Wait! Aviat Zero R just resubscribed oh, for six Aviator. months. Always a pleasure to sub to your channel. I look forward to your streams every day. That's Keep amazing. Up the great work. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh my God, that's awesome. That's awesome. I like the little loop before Botswana. Okavango Delta, huh? That is a scenery that I have to review here. Uh, I have full review and I haven't reviewed it yet. Ah, Shoney on left. Okay. Nice. Scotland, 
here at Glasgow. I've been out mowing lawn all day before the rain came on. Ah, and the last house I done, the guy was a sex player. And played me Baker Street, written by Glass. No way! That's really cool, Sassanash. Is that your job? Is that what you do, buddy? Is you mow lawns? Into the Okavango from that Joe. Okay. So, by the way, guys, this right here, I'm going to put the, uh, the link in uh, chat for you guys. Go give uh, Guybrush a follow. Guybrush, that was a great video, man. Nice job. Can't wait to see the next one. Um, guys, uh, ooh, bad news. Um, I didn't have a great time in the bathroom. I've been feeling a little sick since this morning, and it's getting worse, and it's actually moving fast. So, um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. Uh, and I'm gonna go get some rest. I'm, I'm afraid of being sick during Flight Sim Expo, right? I don't know what it is. Maybe I just ate something funny. Oh, the beans. Oh, Jesus, I forgot the beans. Um, can we save the beans for next stream, please? I'll even eat 20 if we have to on the next stream. Yeah, I think I... You know, you know you feel when you're getting sick, right? I have that feeling right now. It's not feeling great in my stomach. I'm getting, like, a little seasick. Um... Rain check on the beans. Okay, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Well, but, but... I'll add him to the next one. We'll start at 10 next time. Um, and yeah, I think I'm actually, I think I'm going to go get some sleep. Like, I really am afraid that I'm going to be sick. I hope not. I really hope not. Yeah, I will, Baganayur. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do that right now. Whew. Well, we got one flight in. Too bad. I, I really was gearing up to do all a bunch of flights today, but we'll have to do that next time. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Guybrush, please do. Please do. Here's the link again, guys, to that video. RHD uh, 341 oh. just resubscribed for six months. Let's go. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you for all the subscriptions today. That was really nice. Um, thank you for being here. Really appreciate that. Let's go. Uh, don't forget, Flight to Mexico this weekend. I need to get better. <laughs> Thanks, Dev. I definitely will. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I will eventually, right? I will eventually. Uh... What are we doing next? Raiding. We gotta raid someone. Oh, man. I hope I'm not getting sick, guys. I really do. I really, really do. Ooh. CRJ with decimal. But it doesn't have a camera, and you guys know that I like a camera. Pardon me. Starting to burp. So many people with no cameras. <clears throat> Those bugger want me to land. Oh, iPhone season usually where? Is it uh, in Malaysia or... You do not see ladies flying the same very uh, often. Or so. We should been, probably... Like, season. Should probably give her a chance. Oh, yeah, come, come on. Tadi, eh, tak apa, it's okay. Come on. Medi tengah main DVD tu kan? Whoa. <laughs> I... This might be the first time I see a lady Lari, Lari, fly flight sim. Yeah. Tengok Medi buat apa. We're gonna do it, guys. Medi We're gonna do it. Around us now. Weather is crazy, I see. Yeah, but it's good because you are able to read those, right? Do do you think oh, yeah, I, Kelly, I, and I should never use Navigraph? Or should I just stay with VFR? Okay. Why so oh my God, I forgot about Beamits. Jesus. And Alison hey, Johnson. Yo, 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 yo. I haven't, I haven't get ready to land again. Why? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Just one of the guys. Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's going fast. It's going fast. Guys, thank you. <laughs> thank you all. I love you guys. Thanks for being here today. Uh, you look um, left and right for comment. Yep. I don't know about tomorrow yet. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know later today, okay? Yeah, Slim, I think I do. My brain is not working very well. All right, guys. I love you all. Thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. On Facebook, I have to look left. For Twitch, I have to look on the right. At the same time, I'm watching my friend.